What's up, guys? So I got a cool one to finally show off. You've got yourself an F-14 Tomcat build. So these are, this is one of many dials that I had made by my buddy Ross and finally got it. So I had to uh, get the dial. So when they come to me, let's see if I even have one I can show you guys. Uh, yeah, I can show you the other style I'm about to do. I gotta wait on boxes to come in. But um, so this is a different style, but you can see it is laser etched uh, on top of it. So some of it you can see through, right? You got your holes around there. You got your star you can see through. The rest of it's laser etched out. So it just kind of looks like it's white, kind of just lighter. So that's how this was. And then I paint it in black and then sand it. And... Um, then you can have some actual definition to what's on the dial. So these are professionally made. Um, and they look good like that, but they're hard to read. So I painted it in black and then sanded it and then backside loomed it. And uh, so in your little accents going all the way around here, you've got a loom wheel behind it. And how that looks is like this. So you can see everything there. Uh, so this is a uh, custom one-off F14 Tomcat build. Um, so I will not be doing another one of this, this dial. Um, I would do something different F14. And just like that Apache that you just saw a second ago, I do have an F14 front view. Um, but uh, I'm trying to do these where it's just a custom one-off box, custom one-off dial, and just a cool little uh, limited series. Um, so I did a black handset. So these are normally silver, painted them in black and then relumed them. This is in a bead blasted case, has a bead blasted atlas bezel on there, bead blasted crown and clasp. Did the uh, star circle there on the crown. Uh, and then I did a titanium colored, it's kind of a charcoal colored um, dual minute and hour uh, referencing. So it's kind of like a continuation on the dial. Going all the way around. Um, low profile exhibition case back, black rotor, and a stainless steel movement holder in there. And then this is on one of my custom two piece super soft suede leathers. So, whomever gets this, you will love this leather. It is super comfy, super pliable. Uh, and that is the build. Um, the bezels on this will turn left, it will turn right. Um, I got them on there as tight as I can. It, um, you definitely have to kind of, yeah, you can do it with one finger if you get if you get the right angle. But um, it can move left to right. They're not clickable style bezels. I wish we could do that, but that plat this platform does not have that. Um, automatic mechanical, so you can wind it, you can wear it, you can put it in a watch winder. But if it's dead or you're not going to be very active, make sure you wind it up just a little bit. And how you do that is you back the crown off the threads until you hear it and feel it clicking at that point you can wind and a wind is a turn that way turning it towards you doesn't do anything but it's a lot easier to keep your fingers spacing and just go back and forth doesn't hurt it if you do this for four or five seconds before you put it on even if you're not very active you'll keep time throughout the day and if you do it for something closer to 20 seconds you're going to max out that 31 plus hour power reserve on it you cannot overwind it so don't worry about that you can wind it all day if you like and when you're comfortable with your winding pull it to the one and only click and you can now set your time. Does not have a hacking movement, so it's going to keep going. You'll also notice you've got a wobble crown that deflects lateral pressure from going into the stem and into the movement. So if you're pushing and prying on it, you're not bending anything or putting any adverse pressures on there. Uh, if you kind of pull it straight, you won't even really feel it. Okay, Google, what time is it? Any day now. Okay, Google, what time is it? Dang, um, she must have thought it was a trick question. All right, when you're there, push this over, get it out of that time setting, and then wind it down. There is your F14 Tomcat build. Just in time for Top Gun 2. Are they calling it Top Gun 2? Maybe it's Top Gun here. I have to look. Probably just Top Gun 2. 
But uh, as with everybody, it's going to come with matching beads. Entirely up to you how stylish you are, whether you wear them with it or not. It's also going to come in that custom one-off box that matches the dial. <clears throat> it's going to come with watch cleaner. This is good on all glass and metal parts, so everything there in the center. Non-streaking, non-toxic, non-residue. Some leather conditioner to keep this strap perfectly soft. If you ever feel that it's not as soft, apply it on both sides. Let it soak in. Remove any excess. A little bit will go a very long way. And then lastly, some fine scratch remover. This is Novus 2 from Amazon, just repackaged. If you scratch the glass, which is possible, put a tiny bit of this on it, buff against it using your included microfiber, and you will buff out that scratch. So just go back and forth against the scratch, not with it, filling that scratch, and go in semicircles, and you will have it buffed out. So that is the build. If it's going to you, congrats. You've got a custom limited edition uh, build. I will have more of these. I will advertise maybe a few of them. But I will try and keep putting them up on my page for people to get these. Um, they will be a little bit more expensive buying them by themselves. Um, I've got a little bit more money into them. A lot of wait time. Um, dials were more expensive. I try and make them a little bit fancier. So bead blasting cost me something. The suede's a little bit fancier. Uh, cost me a little more. And then the matching custom one-off box where we got a program in just for one box cost me extra as well um so a little bit more money thrown into it plus this is the only one so um these will be probably pushing 100 bucks more than what um a normal like a kraken would have been in there if a you know uh, brushed crack brushed a uh, case with a kraken in there and a uh, kraken box um would probably be about 100 bucks less because i got more into this more into bead blasting uh more into the dial um, and there's not going to be another one. The Krakens I will kind of vary a little bit, or if we do a very similar dial, we'll do a different case setup and that kind of stuff. But this, you're not necessarily, you're not going to see it in another case or another variation uh, in general. So if it's going to you, congrats. I'm going to try and put it up tonight. Got to uh, get to Baltimore, which is a six hour drive, and I think it's like, what, 1.30 right now? So, and I still have to do another video, pack, go to the post office, go to the bank, um, work on another watch before I go. So we're going to see what happens. It might be a late night one. And uh, if it is, uh, it's going to be one of those ones where it's going to close on Saturday night. So if, if that's the case, um, uh, we still have to do the night. I might not be able to monitor the uh, post as well, but it might be a late night one, guys. So, um if you're uh, if you're in it, congrats. Or if you're in it, good luck. Uh, and uh, I will uh, try and get it. Um, yeah, I'll try and get it posted tonight. So you'll probably see this video before then. So uh, appreciate you guys. If you want me to both do something custom and unique, reach out and I'll see what I can do. And if you want to continue to see videos like this, like and subscribe. So I put them up all the time. Thanks, guys.